welcome in there thanks for tuning in ladies and gentlemen this is something i figured i'd record and get out there i talk about it a lot and uh it's basically for anybody who's new I, I, weekly on stream i usually will repeat it so i just wanted to put it in a video and share it real quick number one if you're new don't answer any dms close your dms to anybody who's not a friend that's my favorite thing to do my, my favorite advice for crypto if you start playing these games Close your DMs on Discord. Only friends can DM you. Second, the best way to communicate with people is through Discord. But the way to know that you're communicating with the correct person is to begin with the site. Not everybody will have their information on there. So, you know, if you want to reach out to Ted, you'd have to go through somebody else in Discord, which I'm sure if I needed to, I could figure that out. And once you get into the game, you can. But for most stables, like for Soulmate, you know, and I really encourage if you're new, reach out to these bigger staples, ask questions, ask for help. They love helping new players because the more that you help and, and encourage and coach and maybe coddle is the wrong word. But the more that you coddle a new player and teach them the correct way, the more likely they are to stick around. Cause it's a very competitive game. If you don't teach somebody the correct golf swing and they try to go play golf, they're going to get their ass kicked. They're going to shoot 100. They're never going to come back to the golf course. If you teach them how to hinge and hold, you teach them how to hit a trap shot, you teach them that they really just need to learn how to hit the ball straight off the tee and putt, and you're fine. Okay, that's it. Same thing in PFL. Number one, network and reach out to people. You've got a verified Discord right here. If you get a DM from somebody who says they're soulmate, you can also, if you get a DM from somebody and you want to confirm it's them, you can look up their stable, go here and see that Discord name. And if it's not there, I would recommend not talking to them. So many of these big stables have all of their information here. It's verified. You can safely reach out to them without having to worry. And that is what you should do when you begin your journey. Hit the claimers, hit Discord, but don't ask for help in Discord. In Discord, just say hello. Just say, hey, I'm here. You know, I'm happy to be here. I'm excited. And then behind the scenes, you know, look at the stables that you enjoy. Figure out the funnel you want. Do you want left turf? Do you want right dirt? And then based on that, look up these big stables, you know. And depending on what funnel you want, it's going to be a certain stable. And you could probably get that information in Discord. Find the stable. Reach out to them with this verified information and safely network and communicate. And get into the game spending a lot less dirt because the way to get into PFL right now is not to go to the market and spend... 5,000 Derby on an unraced horse. It's go to a claimer, go to the market, buy a raced horse with information for a couple hundred Derby and, and see if they miss something. You know, four out of five horses, they won't have missed something. But as long as you get one out of five where they do, it'll cover everything and more. So that's my favorite advice to somebody new. Just wanted to throw that out there. Go get onto this, the site, go into stats, go into stables and, and double check those stables. The information is there. You have a verified Discord, verified Twitter. You know who you're talking to. Till next time.